The 501453 universal cable gland consists of five key components. Entry with deluge boot, diaphragm seal and armor spigot, reversible armor clamping ring, middle nut with patented tightening guide, and back nut. This dual certified cable gland is designed for use with all types of elastomer and plastic insulated cables, including all types of armor and braid. The 501453 Universal is especially suitable for cables that exhibit cold flow characteristics. Assembly instructions are provided with Hawk cable glands or can be downloaded via the Hawk website. Allow sufficient length of cable to suit the equipment the cable is being terminated into. Strip the outer sheath and cut the armor to enable connection of the conductors to the terminal. Remove a further 20 millimeters of outer sheath for cable glands OS to A size, 25 millimeters for B to C2 size, and 32 millimeters for D to F size. Slide the back nut, middle nut, and armor clamping ring onto the cable. Ensure that the orientation of the reversible armor clamping ring is correct, with the arrowhead indicating the correct armor, braid, or tape pointing to the equipment. Always refer to the Hawk assembly instructions for guidance on the correct armor clamping ring orientation. Tip: Alternative rings may be required if the cable does not fall within the RAC's standard clamping range. Spread the armor or braid by gently pulling it away from the inner sheath of the cable. A screwdriver may be required for larger types of cables. Remove any plastic wrapping from the outside of the inner sheath. Push the cable through the diaphragm seal. This action is aided by a pre-fitted protective cap which removes the need to tape the conductors. This cap can be disposed of once the cable has passed through the seal. If the protective cap is not there, tape may be used over the tip of the conductors. Pull the diaphragm seal down the cable until the ends of the armor or braid are up to the spigot shoulder. Slide the entry component over the cable until the diaphragm seal is seated inside the entry. Slide the middle nut up to the entry and hand tighten. Support the cable to prevent it twisting. Grip the entry with a spanner or wrench. Use a second spanner or wrench to tighten half to three quarters of a turn. Unscrew the middle nut. The armor clamping ring should now be locked in place. Visually inspect that the armor or braid has been successfully clamped between the spigot and the armor clamping ring. If it isn't satisfactory, repeat the previous steps. If required, fit the appropriate IP washer onto the entry thread. Fit the entry into the enclosure and use a wrench to tighten. Add a quarter turn with a wrench. Depending on the enclosure used, the method of installation will vary. Slide the cable through the entry. Hand tighten the middle nut to the entry and add a further quarter turn using a wrench. Hand tighten the back nut until a seal is formed around the cable. Use a wrench or spanner to grip the middle nut. While preventing the middle nut turning, use a second wrench to apply one further full turn to the back nut. Use our patented middle nut tightening guide as an indication that the back nut is in the correct position to suit cable diameter. Tip: A diameter scale is provided in our assembly instructions to help with this process. Ensure that you have stripped the inner sheath to suit the application. The recommended exposure length of inner sheath is a minimum of 5 millimeters. Installation is complete.